Hi everybody, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot and this is going to be a general reading for whoever needs it at this time. Right now I do have the frequency of the throat chakra playing in the background. So if any of you have been feeling as though you can't communicate properly or you have been struggling to be heard by anybody, including yourself, then this is a good frequency to assist with that. Okay. We cleanse the space with Palo Santo. So it's just us and the message. If you would like, go ahead and inhale and exhale. We cleanse the space so it's just us and the message. Cleansing my aura to make space for yours to come through. And check out your chakras, starting with the crown. The crown feels nice and healthy. You have a good connection with God. This is nice. Third eye. Feels a little bit blocked, actually. Some issues with your intuition at this time. Throat chakra. little bit blocked as well. Heart. A little bit blocked as well. Sacral. Solar plexus, excuse me. A little bit blocked as well. Sacral. A little blocked. Root. A little blocked. Okay. Okay. Well, um, your connection to God is present, but your connection to yourself is not, which is interesting. From the third eye down, you're blocked. So what I would say is, starting off first here, I'm really gonna want you to start with your third eye, right? Because when we do the chakra system, if your crown is open and everything from the third eye down is not, we wanna start here because you can go to your throat next, right? Or you can go to your heart. But if your third eye is blocked, the energy is not gonna be able to go through here, right? So the third eye chakra, Ajna, um, really talks about our ability to intuitively see and sense what is going on around us, right? So I know you do have a great connection with God at this time, but there's something that's blocking your intuition, and we're going to go ahead and figure that out as we do the reading. So um, definitely wanting you to pay attention and utilize the color purple in the next you know, couple of days to weeks um, to months, right? The color purple correlates to the third eye, okay? And um, in whatever way you can incorporate purple, I'm going to recommend that you do that at this time. Purple clothes, purple nails, purple jewelry, purple food, right? Um, um, even though uh, red onions are actually purple, we can use that. Beets are still a darker reddish purple, right? Grapes are great for that, okay? Um, lavender is nice to have in the house as well. Purple flowers, um, purple bed sheets, okay? Comforter, uh, paintings, artwork. Here we go. This is not an exhaustive list, right? So definitely make sure that you're incorporating the color purple. And we're going to go ahead and talk about your third eye during this reading for sure. So that concludes the chakra cleansing. And let's go ahead and get into your reading. Okay. 
I always start with an archetype card by Kim Kranz to get a nice gist of what's going on. You could be seeing a lot of change in your life right now. You could be moving home, okay? You could be moving home. You could be going through a little bit of um, a disruptive situation with the destroyer here, but we'll talk further about this. Mm, the shaman. Interesting. We're going to go ahead and read this card. The Magi, the Sorcerer, the Medicine Woman. Three archetypal ingredients constitute the shaman, and all must be present in order to reveal its magic. First, the shaman is activated by long-standing and diligent study, the mentor. Second, its orientation is generously and accurately aimed toward the healing of the self, the other, and the culture the healer. And third, the shaman has a knack for finding doors to the other world, allowing psychic visions and old magic to leak into this world, the unseen. In this way, the shaman is a master who bridges the everyday and the sacred, revealing potent power needed desperately in our time. Yet, where there is power, there is shadow. So, the shaman must be vigilant in studying their darkness. This card reminds us that the force of healing is ultimately not our own. We must shape it and share it with the world. When light, fearless student and practitioner, when dark, over promises, blames, hurts, self and others, go deeper read Black Elk Speaks and Michael Tucker's Dreaming with Eyes Wide Open. The shaman can't be rushed. Working with this archetype requires study and perseverance. Think of it like, bring, like brining or marinating. The content must permeate every fiber of its being. Contrary to popular belief, the shaman archetype appears in every vocation. Teachers, directors, surgeons, politicians, and poets are just a few of the faces a shaman may wear. Yeah, and what I'm seeing in this card is that you really are trying hard to reach this knowledge, right? With that snake there being this kundalini energy, right? And you can feel it. And there are a lot of, you know, shiny things that seem to be distracting you from really attaining this. And I think that um, there are times where there's a couple of skulls down here, right? Um, the truth can actually frighten you from time to time, right? You can actually be scared to go too deep. How far do I go into this? Can I trust my intuition? Do I trust myself, right? All of those kinds of things. So let's get further into this, but this is a very mystical and um, studious kind of energy here, okay? this time you're being asked to do things that scare you knowing that you will be protected in this process something you're going through right now is a little bit scary to you okay and this could be a little bit of a painful process right because I am feeling quite a bit of um, pain in my body to be honest a lot of your chakras were not aligned. Our confidence is not present. 
okay? And even though you might be confident on the outside, there are things in your reading that are showing me that you might not um, be as confident as you come off, right? So you're having a hard time communicating, speaking, thoughts don't make really make sense, words don't really make sense, um, especially on the inside. Being able to communicate how you feel is tough right now. You can't really articulate the words your heart is feeling very tender. Something has affected you in a way that's making you feel very tender. Again, solar plexus confidence here is, is tough. Something's hitting at our confidence. We're not maybe feeling as attractive as we normally feel, right? Even if you are extremely beautiful, you might not be tapping into that sexual and sensual energy in the ways that you normally do. Your root chakra, blocked, right? Not feeling safe, not feeling comfortable, not feeling um, whole, okay? But again, your connection to God is so uh, brilliant at this time, all right? So just be confident, be secure, and you're being asked to have a lot of courage right now, okay? Because whatever you're going through is taking a lot out of you, and uh, for some of you, you might actually be exploring spirituality in a way where you're starting to become fearful of what you're seeing as you're doing this study right which that can happen to a lot of us that can happen to a lot of us you know going down the rabbit hole of spirituality is not one of the easiest things to do right <clears throat> let's pull a card from the sacred rebels You're seeking something you're a seeker with the shaman card okay you're seeking something what you want wants you are you you're on a spiritual journey of some sort right now not that we are at all but you're intentionally seeking answers. Spiritual energy here. Just be very intentional here, okay? Be very intentional. As someone who has gone down the spiritual path for a while, um, ignorance is bliss, right? When you start to see the inside of your consciousness, um, you might get a little fearful right depending on what's in there going inward is not for the the faint of heart you have to be prepared you have to have coping mechanisms and you have to be able to look at darkness while being able to still see the light we all have darkness and we all have light within us so if you are going on this spiritual journey Please be prepared and, and know that there could be things that, that could very much scare you, right? Energies can be scary and truths can be scary, okay? So just make sure that you're going into this practice very intentionally. And I wish you so much luck on this journey because it's a beautiful ride. The highs that you experience are so high, but the lows that you experience can be very low. And you do want to ensure that you have a good daily practice, a good meditation, a good prayer practice, okay? If I had known that prayer would be really important in a spiritual practice, I would have developed that a long time ago. So prayers are great, affirmations are great, and also having people that are close to you where if you have revelations that show you things that you've never experienced before, who are your guides and your mentors and your friends that know what you're doing so that when you reach certain levels, you have people to talk to, okay? Because you will reach certain levels when you begin to study, okay? 
the power of attraction. Now, some of you could be trying to manifest your partner, right? Um, you know, some of you could be going as far as trying to find your twin flame, all right, or your soulmate connection. Um, at the end of the day, God will present people to you to choose from, okay? It's and ultimately your choice. God will show you options, but then it's ultimately your choice, right? The lover's card in tarot originally was called the choice card. And that's because at the end of the day, we do have free will, right? We have free will and we can choose the partner that we want. But with this power of attraction, I also think for some of you guys, this is not for everybody, that you think that when you develop the spiritual knowledge that you'll kind of come across, uh, across as more attractive to the opposite sex because you'll you'll seem to be um, somewhat of a leader, right? A spiritual leader, spiritual energy. Um, you'll just have that like kind of je ne sais quoi where people are like, that person knows something. That person knows like really deep stuff and I want to get to know them. I think that's kind of a sexy trait, right? So yeah, some of you definitely could be, you know, wanting to have that as a nice benefit from this. Okay, that's not for everybody. Um, all right, let's move on here. Come to life. There are some of you, I'm going to cover up the nipple here for YouTube purposes. For some of you, okay, see this person, she's in black and white right now and she's painting herself and as she's painting these butterflies are coming towards her i think you're really wanting to come into life and have the courage to show the world who you really are okay show the world who you really are and um yeah really come out of a place I don't want to say of darkness, but of dullness. Some of you have been feeling a little bit lackluster and you're looking to get some kind of verve back into your life, okay? All right, so this is nice. And for some of you, you very well could be artists here with this um, painter card, right? She is painting herself, okay? But for the most, uh, for the better portion of you, you guys are in a place where, yeah, Things have felt a little bit gray and you're ready to have some color back into your life, okay? Uh, and we do see the snake in this card um, again as well. So also look up the snake totem, okay? Look up um, the energy of the snake the energy of the snake and uh, kundalini energy okay if that's something that is of interest to you but i um i'm very cautious to um encourage people to go into the practice of kundalini yoga since when you actually do have your spiritual awakening um if you're not prepared the energy can be uh, quite overwhelming to say the least <laughs> All right, let's get some tarot. Any messages for this person at this time? The Magician. Okay, Three of Swords in reverse. Manifesting this uh, new energy here, okay? Magician again, King of Pentacles, really stepping into your power at this time, even if you um, aren't always feeling so confident, okay? The Prince of Wands and the Temperance in reverse. Okay. All right. So you are at the beginning of a journey. Okay. You're at the beginning of this journey right now. And you are ready. You're ready. You're about to begin on this journey of exploration. And it's going to be a journey of spiritual exploration, okay? Prince of Wands 
is all about this childlike curiosity and going into something with this fiery passion and excitement towards learning, okay? Learning and and just, I can't say it enough, you're just so curious right now. You're so curious, you're so excited because things have been feeling so out of balance with this temperance in reverse, okay? Things are not feeling like they're in alignment for you. They're feeling very out of balance. So you are turning to spirituality even though you are afraid of what you may find, okay? You've been defensive for too long and things have been falling apart, okay? For lack of a better word. And you know that you're needing to, to spend some time alone, okay? You've been hanging out with a lot of people, okay? You've been doing a lot of things. It's, it's time. You're going within. Queen of Wands. There is, um, I will say, when you go through this journey here, okay, with your exploration of spirituality, you are going to feel very confident, okay? You're going to feel very confident. You're going to feel very attractive. And you're going to be learning to develop a sense of inner confidence that before you relied on external factors to make you feel confident. Moving forward, what's going to make you feel confident is your ability to know yourself on one of the deepest, deepest levels that a human being can know themselves, which is spiritually, right? which is through God, which is through the energy that creates all of existence, okay? When you know yourself so fully, it's very rare that something can touch you because you already know everything about yourself. You can't touch me because I'm too, 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 too. I am so whole. I'm so whole within. Being whole does not mean you're confident all the time. That doesn't. That is not what that means. Being whole just means you are very aware of the contents inside of you. It's almost as though you've explored every crevice of your inner world that you've shed light on everything. So there are no dark pockets and that in its sense, it, it, in itself can make you feel whole. And um, even as I'm speaking, I'm kind of tripping up my words a little bit. Um, for those of you, this is not for everybody, okay? Some of you might be wanting to incorporate some plant medicine, okay? And take these journeys, right? Some of you might be interested in ayahuasca. Some of you might be interested in San Pedro. Some of you might be interested in, in you know, other forms of healing, right? And I am not telling you that that is something that I'm encouraging you to do. I'm just saying for some of you, you might be beginning to engage in the idea of, of using plant medicine to help heal. And yes, that is scary because you will be shown things that you could only see in potentially some of your wildest nightmares, right? Those plants generally bring you to places um, that you can be fearful of and you come out on the other side. That's not always the case, but generally they kick some things up first. So there's that. Uh, that message is coming in pretty strong that some of you guys might be um, on the hunt for plant medicine 2424, okay? And I wish you luck in that process. Um, and I feel like this is going to be a very good journey for you if that's an area in which you are looking to explore, okay? Some of you guys um, might be fire signs or have a lot of fire in your chart, okay? Aries, Leo, and Sag, right, with this Queen of Wands here, okay? page of wands as soon as I split it again at the beginning of the deck. Yes, we are, we are, and we are seeking truth.
truth. We are seeking justice. We are seeking the things that are going to help us feel passionate again, make us feel like we are determined. The Emperor in reverse twice. Okay, this is, you know, Aries um, energy. Sometimes you judge yourself for not being as powerful as you know that you should be. Okay, and you really want to get over this appointment that exists within yourself. The tower has shown up a couple times. You've gone through a lot in your life that has really shook you to your core. Okay, full body goosebumps. You've gone through things that have broken you. You've gone through things that have broken you. I've seen the tower out here twice with the destroyer in the beginning. Okay? Sometimes God breaks us so that we can put ourselves back together again. And when we get put back together, we are stronger after that. And I find that Every time you break and you become stronger, you are just becoming essentially a super human that can handle everything. And in that pain, you develop something that not everyone has, which is depth of feeling. And some of the most beautiful human beings are the people that have gone through the worst of the worst and come out on the other side even more whole, even more compassionate, even more empathetic, even more understanding, even more loving. You don't have to go through that kind of pain, but empathy, to really be able to empathize with so many people, empathy is different from sympathy, right? When you empathize, that means that I know what you're going through because I've been there. If you haven't been through a lot, you can't really empathize with everybody because you haven't felt what they have felt before. So sometimes God puts us in so many different painful situations so that we can be able to empathize with so many different people and be able to help them as well. Past relationships and heartbreak could be coming up. The lovers in reverse. So there were situations with love that did not work out, right? As I was shuffling, I saw the four of wands in reverse, right? Four of wands in reverse, seven of pentacles in reverse, broken marriages, broken partnerships, relationships that didn't reciprocate, okay? And, um, these were situations where you put a lot in and did not see a lot in return, okay? So you might also be wondering why these relationships have not worked out. Why is the lovers in reverse here? I think you were with some people that were a little bit cold, okay, with the queen of swords here. The lovers in reverse here. The Empress. If you're the feminine here, it's just really important that you're aware that just because love doesn't work out doesn't mean you're not lovable. You're still the Empress. You're still beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're worthy. And that sense of worthiness comes from within yourself. No one else can give that to you and no one else can take it away. All right? You're the one that creates your sense of worthiness. And people can feel that off of you. People can feel as people can feel 
your sense of confidence or your sense of insecurity, right? But if you're the masculine, I think you have been hurt by some women, right? You've been hurt by some women that maybe didn't treat you so well. Maybe they were a little bit cold, okay? Harsh, mean, okay? Mean. But that's not every woman. That's definitely not every woman. So don't let the pain from your previous partnerships make you feel as though you are unworthy, okay? Or that you're not capable of love. What was I talking about in a general reading the other day where love doesn't mean marriage? Love doesn't mean marriage. Love doesn't mean commitment. Love is just love. And I think in our society, if you don't have that label and that length of time and those contractual documents, some people feel like just just love existing as love in our own you know sphere doesn't really mean anything, right? But love is love no matter what kind of label you have on it, okay? And love will always be in our lives. We are love. We are love. And, you know, the world can harden us, right? But do you want to be someone that's been hardened by love? Or do you want to be someone who has been transformed by love and, like a fine wine, gets better with age and experience, okay? Okay? get better with experience okay what does your higher self want to you to know at this time just because things haven't been working doesn't mean that they won't work moving forward, okay? But there are things that you have to overcome that you know are not right for you, okay? You're putting energy sometimes into places where you shouldn't be, and you're overworking yourself in areas where you're thinking, you're worrying about love too much right now, to be honest. Love is coming up a lot, and, um, it's not the right time for you to be focusing on love, okay? Honestly, love makes you too defensive and um, it's because you have been through a lot. Seven of Swords here, okay? Seven of Swords doesn't have to be, but you could have been lied to, cheated on, stolen from, right? Someone could have stolen from you. Um, at the very least, they stole a piece of your heart or they cheated you, you know, mentally, right? They, the, yeah, or they just lied about how they were feeling. But because you have this in your aura, um, it's important for you to heal that first before you go back into the love thing because when that's in you, Unless you're with someone who is extremely conscious and is on the same mirror journey as you are, then you might not receive them in the way that you should be receiving them. And you could very well attract someone that might end up doing the same thing to you. So at this time, you are on a spiritual journey. Love, um, I'm being told, is not the priority for you right now. Okay? Let go of your sense of disappointment that you are not where you thought that you would be. Don't rush. Don't rush this process. That's going to be very important. And you really need to stop being so defensive. Okay? 
it's going to be really important for you to stop being so defensive. Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Pentacles. Just because you don't have a huge house, a ridiculously attractive car, tons of money, doesn't mean that you're not whole. Those are material possessions. Material possessions can only provide you with so much security, right? Four of Pentacles here, right? Sun and Capricorn. We can only get so much security from material possessions. The real security comes from your connection to yourself. There are so many people that have millions of dollars, tons of cars, tons of clothes, houses, second houses. None of that means anything if they don't feel whole. You're on a path to wholeness, okay? Stick with that first. Stick with that first. Okay, let's go ahead and get some Rider weight to close it off. I always say Rider weight for last. Things will come into balance. <laughs> you just got the Temperance and the Two of Cups as I was shuffling through here. Things will come into balance. Three of Wands. You'll be able to see vision, okay? So you have been dealing with an energy of unfulfilling. Just You're not fulfilled. Un unfulfillment? Non-fulfillment? <laughs> okay. Um, you're going to be moving to a place of feeling very fulfilled once you're done with this spiritual quest, okay? Don't get distracted. Take care of yourself. And I'm being told you will know when it's time for you to open back up to love. And there we go, two of cups. You will know when it's time to open back to love because you'll feel calm, okay? You'll feel calm and you won't a two of cups just keeps poking its head out of here. <gasps> You're going to really be able to... There's that two of cups, man. <gasps> Ooh, love and union. Okay. Once you overcome all of the mental entrapment that you've been allowing yourself to experience, insecurity anxiety, depression, just these like really sad spirals. You're going to finally be in a place where you feel strong enough to allow union to come into your life. And it's going to be an energy of fulfillment that you haven't had before because God's going to be part of it. Okay. You're going to be whole. You're going into a relationship whole not seeking wholeness from somebody else, okay? All right, let's go ahead and pull an animal spirit for advice here, and then we'll pull one final card. If you can please give me one final card for advice here. The bat in reverse. The bat is a creature that flies around sending out little signals, right? Like sonar signals. They're very keenly aware of everything around them. Stop trying so hard to understand everything around you so that you understand yourself. You're trying to piece together everything on the outside. I'm aware of this, I'm aware of this, I see that, I can see this, okay, my, 
My spidey senses are so in tune. You think you're so in tune. Stop that. Become aware of what's inside of you and the outside will make sense. Right now you're trying to make sense of things by looking outward. Look inside and then the outside will make sense, okay? If you go up against things and there's resistance, it's okay. You just don't want to be defensive. You don't want to be defensive. If something is not supposed to be for you, stop pushing it. The beauty of the rose is endlessly yet to be seen. Crown chakra, sahasrara. I told you, your crown is totally on point. Stay present, receive. Let summer flower eternally in your heart with the heady fragrance of easy valor, a fearless understanding that life works out better than you could have imagined when you're deeply relaxed. Let your languid beauty innocently invoke an inner awakening to the self-realization, I am truly beautiful in so many ways. May you receive this knowing gracefully, for the love in your own heart is what you absolutely deserve. The love in your own heart. Okay, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped. Take care. Bye-bye.